Welcome! This video tutorial offers a step-by-step -step guide on how to calculate age using a date of birth in Excel. You'll be able to find out the exact number of years that passed from a date of birth until now. It's easier than you might think. Let's take a look. Hello, and welcome to EasyClick Academy. My name's Frank, and together with our EasyClick team, we're here to make sure you'll be able to use Excel in a quick and easy way, thanks to our digestible video tutorials. The most suitable function to calculate age in Excel is the function DateDiff. Before you use the function, make sure the data table is formatted properly. The cells with dates must be formatted as date, and the cells to display the calculated age need to be formatted as number. Select the cell to display the result, enter the equal sign, and right after, type in date diff. Now we need to enter three details. The first one is date of birth, so click in the cell B3, then add a comma, and Excel now needs today's date. This can be easily entered as today function. Type in today and carry on by adding the opening and the closing bracket. This command will ensure that Excel will always use the current date for its calculations, making the result always up to date. If you need to use any other date than the current one, you can use a separate cell to store this information and refer to this cell in the formula, just like we did with date of birth. Since we want to use the current date, we'll leave the function today in the formula and move on to the next step. Add another comma and carry on typing Y in quotation marks for years to find out the exact number of the completed years that passed between the date of birth and today's date. Now just close the brackets and hit enter. Good job! The function can now be used to calculate age in the other rows too. Simply copy the formula from the first cell by dragging down the bottom left corner of that cell. And that's all it takes. Each row now contains the calculated age as the number of completed years that passed between the date of birth and today. To find out the exact number of days or months, watch our video tutorial on how to calculate the difference between two dates in Excel. Check out the link in the description below. If you found this tutorial helpful, give us a like and watch another video tutorial by EasyClick Academy. Learn how to use Excel in a quick and easy way. Is this your first time on EasyClick? We'll be more than happy to welcome you in our online community. Hit that subscribe button and join the EasyClickers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.